इलेक्ट्रिक पार इंस्टॉल्ड कैपेसिटी फ्रॉम नॉन डरमत टाइगर है ना ब्लैक टाइगर सीमेंट लॉन्ड्रिंग The Ministry of External Affairs on Thursday said that among the 21 crew members who were on board the ship that hit the Baltimore Bridge in Maryland, US, 20 were Indians, and all of them are in good health. As many as six PJP candidates, including Chief Minister Pema Khandu, are set to be elected unopposed by Chandra Jude, expressing concern over attempts to undermine the judiciary's integrity. The Delhi court on Thursday extended the remand of Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal till April 1st. The Aam Aadmi Party national convener was arrested. By Digital devices seized during search at Arvind Kejriwal's premises on March 21st are yet to be extracted as the arrestee has sought time to provide password, login credentials after consulting with his lawyers. Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal is likely to be produced before a Delhi court on Thursday on the conclusion of his Enforcement Directorate custody remand. The Enforcement Directorate ED has Kejriwal's custody till March 28. The court remanded Kejriwal in the ED custody for six days after the agency pressed for his custody. intercation for 10 days the ed has accused ap leader of being involved in the entire conspiracy of the delhi liquor scam in drafting and implementing of the policy for favoring and benefiting the quid pro receiving kickbacks and eventually using part of the proceeds of crime generated out of the scheduled offense in the election campaign for the goa assembly elections The Ministry of External Affairs on Thursday said that among the 21 crew members who were on board the ship that hit the Baltimore Bridge in Maryland, US, 20 were Indians and all of them are in good health. However, one has been slightly injured. MEA spokesperson Randeep Jaiswal said that the Indian embassies are in close touch with the Indians on board as well as with the local authorities. Meanwhile, the federal investigators In the US has unveiled new details about what occurred in the minutes before a hulking cargo ship lost power and slammed into Baltimore's Francis Scott Key Bridge including the pilot surgeon call for assistance and authorities efforts to clear people off the bridge the first sign of distress reportedly came just under 3 minutes before the crash went the cargo ship's pilot called over the radio requesting any tugboats in the area to respond to the vessel within a minute police officers on either end of the bridge were ordered to stop traffic crossing the bridge saving several lives six construction workers who were on the bridge are now presumed dead and two of their bodies were found trapped in a submerged truck on wednesday police said question on the indians who were um, on the ship our information is that there are 21 uh, crew members of which 20 are indians uh, all of them are in good shape good health one of them got injured slightly needed to have some stitches the stitches have been given and he's then gone back to the ship uh, our embassy is in close touch with the indians uh, on board and also with local authorities in this matter More than 500 prominent lawyers including Harish Salve wrote to CDI DY Chandra Chud expressing concern over attempts to undermine the judiciary's integrity the lawyers condemned the vested interest group attempting to manipulate 
judicial processes, influence court decisions and tarnish the reputation of the judiciary with baseless allegations and political agendas. The letter raised concerns about the concocted theory of bench fixing, wherein attempts are made to influence the composition of judicial benches and cast aspersions on the integrity of judges. The letter says, as people who work to uphold the law, we think it's time to stand up for our courts. We need to come together and speak out against the underhanded attacks, making sure our courts stay as pillars of our democracy, untouched by these calculated attacks. Reacting to this, PJP leader Gaurav Bhatia said advocates related to opposition parties like Congress, AAP and others, the kind of pressure they put on judiciary and the objectionable comments they make on judges without any proof is worrisome. This letter depicts the public emotions. Look, a very strong debate, this is the parampara, especially the vipakshi dalo, Congress party, आप पार्टी हो तमाम और विपक्षी दल हैं जो लोग दबाव बनाते हैं न्यायपालिका पे न्यायाधीशों पे आपत्तिजनक टिप्पणी करते हैं बिना प्रमाण के ये चिंताजनक है और मैं समझता हूं ये चिट्ठी जो जनभावना है उसी को दर्शाती है और मैंने तो स्वयं अपनी आंखों से देखा है कि अगर कोई फैसला उनके पक्ष में आ जाता है तो न्यायपालिका की वाहवा और कोई फैसला अगर उनके खिलाफ आ जाता है तो न्यायपालिका की हाय हाय वो जज बेईमान हो जाता है न्यायपालिका लोकतंत्र में तीसरा स्तंभ माना गया है और न्यायपालिका मजबूत हुई है श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी की सरकार में मैं समझता हूं सब अपना अपना काम कर रहे हैं लेकिन जो विपक्ष के नेता हैं ये खासकर अनर्गल बयान करना न्यायपालिका को कमजोर करना और राहुल गांधी जैसे नेता कह देते हैं कि न्यायपालिका को एक और दो व्यक्ति चला रहे हैं ये कितना दुर्भाग्यपूर्ण है और इसीलिए ये चिट्ठी एक सकारात्मक पहल है जहां की नकारात्मक ताकतों को दबा दिया जाए कुचल दिया जाए क्योंकि लोकतंत्र में इस तरह के अनर्गल बयानों का दबाव बनाने का सर दाल में एजेंट से तो आरसीएफ स्ट्रांग बन गया आरसीएफ रूफ कॉलम फाउंडेशन ये तो स्ट्रांग बन गया और बताइए और क्या चाहिए छत पे एक बड़ा सा पार्टी हॉल होना चाहिए होना ही चाहिए होना ही चाहिए फैंसी सस्टेर किस होना ही चाहिए कोल्ड ड्रिंक्स के लिए बड़ा वाला फ्रिज होना चाहिए बेसमेंट में होम थिएटर विद सराउंड होना चाहिए मार्बल का फाउंटेन मॉड्यूलर किचन और एक एक्वेरियम होना ही चाहिए सालों तक ये घर स्ट्रांग होना ही चाहिए होना ही चाहिए इतने सब के लिए तो आरसीएफ स्ट्रांग होना ही चाहिए अभी तो तालमिया सीमेंट चाहिए चाहिए नहीं होना ही चाहिए तालमिया सीमेंट आरसीएफ स्ट्रांग तो घर स्ट्रांग डर मत टाइगर है ना ब्लैक टाइगर सीमेंट गरम ते पेट और मुंह के ठंडा रखे तो कि मुखी खाली मीठा है लगे इदु हेल्दी है से यूएचटी ट्रीटेड और सफा भी है से थर्ड इदु फ्रेश है से और मुझसे भी वाव केविंटर लस्सी मीठा भी हेल्दी भी केविंटर लस्सी मीठा भी हेल्दी भी घर जल प्रतिरोधक सीमेंट से नहीं बना तो पड़ेगा रोना पानी घुसने से कंक्रीट कमजोर हो जाए स्टार वेदर शीट सीमेंट खराब मौसम में घर वेदर प्रूफ बनाए स्टार वेदर शीट जल प्रतिरोधक सीमेंट वेदर प्रूफ घर डर मत टाइगर है ना ब्लैक टाइगर सीमेंट सर दाल में सीमेंट से तो आरसीएफ स्ट्रांग बन गया आरसीएफ रूफ कॉलम फाउंडेशन ये तो स्ट्रांग बन गया और बताइए और क्या चाहिए छत पे एक बड़ा सा पार्टी हॉल होना चाहिए होना ही चाहिए, होना ही चाहिए। Fancy sustainer kiss। होना ही चाहिए। Cold drinks के लिए बड़ा वाला fridge होना चाहिए। 
अरेंजमेंट में होम थिएटर विद सराउंड होना चाहिए मार्बल का फाउंटेन मॉड्यूलर किचन और एक एक्वेरियम होना ही चाहिए सालों तक ये घर स्ट्रांग होना ही चाहिए होना ही चाहिए इतने सब के लिए तो आर सी स्ट्रांग होना ही चाहिए अभी तो तालमिया सीमेंट चाहिए चाहिए नहीं होना ही चाहिए तालमिया सीमेंट आर सी एफ स्ट्रॉन्ग तो घर स्ट्रॉन्ग Welcome back. As many as six PJP candidates, including Chief Minister P. Makandu, are set to be elected unopposed to the Arunachal Pradesh Legislative Assembly, as no other candidate has filed nomination from their assembly seats on the last day of filing papers on Wednesday. As for the Election Commission data, as of 9 p.m. Wednesday, as of 9. PM on Wednesday, the last day for filing nominations for the April 19 Arunachal Pradesh Assembly elections, only PJP candidates submitted nomination papers in five out of the 60 constituencies in the state. In addition to Arunachal Pradesh, Chief Minister Pema Khandu's constituency of Mukto, where he is expected to win uncontested for the fourth time, four other candidates from different constituencies are also poised to secure victory without facing any opposition. These include J.K. Tako from Tali, Nyato Tukom from Taliha, Ratu Techi from Sakali and Muchu Mithi from Roing. These candidates representing the Congress party are set to be elected unopposed as other nominees withdrew their candidature on Wednesday. The PJP has put forward candidates for all 60 assembly seats in Arunachal Pradesh, while the opposition Congress has nominated candidates for 34 seats and the National People's Party has put forward candidates for 29 seats. Additionally, the NCP and the People Party of Arunachal have nominated 17 and two candidates respectively for the upcoming assembly polls. In the 2019 assembly elections, the PJP secured victory in 41 seats and later seven MLAs from other parties joined the PJP. Moreover, the PJP also clinched both Lok Sabha seats in the 2019 elections. The PJP formed its first elected government in Arunachal Pradesh in 2019. Despite Chief Minister Kanu initially forming a PJP government in 2016, following his departure from the Congress along with several MLAs forming the People's Party of Arunachal, which subsequently allied with the PJP. Following the U.S. remark on Kejuwa's arrest and the subsequent summon of the U.S. diplomat by the government of Delhi and comment by Washington on the Delhi CM's arrest and freezing of Congress account, the Minister of External Affairs said on Thursday that it has lodged a strong objection and protest with the senior official from the U.S. Embassy with regard to the comments made by the U.S. State Department. MEA spokesperson Randir Jaiswal said, Recent remarks by the State Department are unwarranted. In India, legal processes and driven, are driven only by the rule of law. Anyone who has similar ethos, especially fellow democracies, should have no difficulty in appreciating this fact. Questions regarding... Uh the U.S. State Department spokesperson's comment. As you know that we've already, yesterday India had lodged its strong objection and protest with the senior official from the U.S. Embassy with regard to the comments made by the U.S. State Department. The recent remarks by the State Department are unwarranted. Any such external imputation on our electoral and legal processes is completely unacceptable. In India, legal processes are driven only by the rule of law. Anyone who has similar ethos, especially fellow democracies, should have no difficulty in appreciating this fact. India is proud of its independent and robust democratic institutions. We are committed to protect them from any form of undue external influences. Mutual respect and understanding form the foundation of international relations and states are expected to be respectful of the sovereignty and internal affairs of others. So this is our uh, statement in response to your question. 
Punjab Chief Minister Bhagwan Man welcomes baby girl. Sharing the news on X, Chief Minister Bhagwan Man said that both the mother and the newborn are doing fine. Punjab Chief Minister Bhagwan Man and his wife Gurpreet Kaur were blessed with a baby girl today. In the post, the Chief Minister wrote, God has given the gift of a daughter. The mother and the child are healthy. Partially modifying its early notification, the Manipur government has issued a fresh order on Thursday evening stating that the governor of Manipur is pleased to declare that only the 30th March Saturday will be a working day for all government offices, including public sector undertaking corporations, autonomous bodies and societies under the state government of Manipur for the smooth functioning of offices in the last few days of the financial year 2023-24. to It may be mentioned that the government had earlier declared March 31st, Sunday, as a working day, which caused outrage among the Christian community as the day was set to be observed as Easter Sunday. We'll take another short break. Keep watching. Vomiting, diarrhea, pet bikha, skin rashes, face, tongue, or lips phuli ja, saas lobule dukpa, itu khan sop, food intolerance na hoile allergy laga symptoms hase. Doctor na hoile healthcare provider ke consult kuri bhi, aru nijor laga dietary requirements ki khabule lage itu jani bhi. Pack food ki niya time te, label te likhi thakya specific ingredients, aru advisory statement kan hodai puri bhi. Bishi bar tai khan claim kure, lactose free, gluten free or may contain allergens. Ini ka kha jinis khan na kini bhi, kile koi le, ta de thagya kumba ingredient pra apni ke allergy ho po pare. Apni ke lactose intolerance ase koi le, dut na hoi le bhi dut pra bana khana khan na lo bhi, aro apni ke gluten intolerance ase koi le, wheat na hoi le wheat pra khana bana khan na lo bhi. Allergy reaction to bishi hoi shi koi le, jolli treatment lo bhi, aro doctor logo consult kuri bhi. Sir, dal mi azimant se to RCF strong ban gya? RCF? Roof Column Foundation. Ye to strong ban gya. Aur batai yoh aur kya chahiye? Chhat pe ek bada sa party hall hona chahiye. Hona hi chahiye, hona hi chahiye. Fancy sasta hair kiss. Hona hi chahiye. Cold drinks ke liye bada wala fridge hona chahiye. Basement mein home theater with sa round hona chahiye. Marble ka fountain. Modular kitchen. Aur ek aquarium. Hona hi chahiye. Shalo tak ye ghar strong. Hona hi chahiye. Hona hi chahiye. Itne sab ke liye to RCF strong hona hi chahiye. Tabhi to dalmiya cement chahiye. Chahiye nahi. Hona hi chahiye. Dalmiya cement. RCF strong to ghar strong. Welcome back. Delhi High Court on Thursday rejected the plea seeking to remove Arvind Kejriwal from the post of Delhi Chief Minister following his arrest in a money laundering case linked to the Delhi excise policy scam case. A bench led by Acting Chief Justice Man Mohan declined to comment on the merits of the issue, stating that it was beyond the purview of judicial intervention. It is for the other wings of the government to examine in accordance with the law, the bench said. In the course of the hearing, the court asked petitioner Sujit Singh Yadav's counsel to show the legal impediment to Avin Kejriwal's continuation as a chief minister. It's not the case that the police were in the police demand. The grounds were written in it. They were legally not sustainable. I can say that they were unbeknownst grounds. But Kejriwal Ji requested the court that I would like to say something in the court, which the court has allowed. And they have I told you in detail what is the evidence of mine. And there is no evidence of it. There is no evidence of it. After that, they said that I don't oppose the police demand. And as much as you want to keep me in custody, I will cooperate. After that, the court asked me to show the legal impediment to Arvind Kejriwal's continuation as a chief minister. And as I said, the court asked me to show the legal impediment to Arvind Kejriwal's continuation as a chief minister. And as I said, the court asked me to show the legal impediment to Arvind Kejriwal's continuation as a chief minister. 
ان کے گراؤنڈ جو ہے وہ ہم اپوز کر رہے ہیں کہ ان کے ان گراؤنڈز پر پولیس ریمانڈ نہیں دیا جا سکتا پر ہمارا کلائنٹ خود کہہ رہا ہے کہ میں پولیس ریمانڈ دے دو میں کوپریٹ کرنے کو تیار ہوں اس لیے شاید اب جس صاحب آرڈر کریں دیکھیں یہ تو اب آپ ای ڈی سے پوچھنا کہ بائی انیس سو بائیس اگست میں ای سی آئی اور ہوتی ہے پہلی ایرسٹ ہوتی ہے اس میں چار کمپلینٹ فائل ہوتی ہے سپلیمنٹری ایک ہوتی ہے دو ہوتی ہے تین ہوتی ہیں چار ہوتی ہیں پانچ ہوتی ہیں اس میں کبھی بھی ایک بار بھی یہ نہیں کہا گیا کہ بھئی کیجری وال پر کوئی الزام ہے اچانک اب جب چناؤ میں تو حالانکہ لائر اس بات میں نہیں میں پڑتا پر اب آ کر انہوں نے اس کو ارس کیا اور کہا کہ سو کروڑ کی انہوں نے ڈیمانڈ کی تھی تو یہ تو ای ڈی ایکسپلین کرے گی جب سمے آئے گا جب آپ سب کو پتا لگے گا کیجری وال جی نے یہ بھی کہا کہ جو جس گواہ کے بیان پر آپ میرے کو ارس کر رہے ہیں اس گواہ نے پچاس کروڑ کے جو الیکٹرل بانڈ تھے بی جے پی پارٹی کو دی ہیں اور اس کے بعد اس کی بیل ہونے کے بعد دی ہیں تو کیا یہ منی لانڈرنگ نہیں ہے کیا اس بات پر انویسٹیگیشن نہیں ہونی چاہیے تو آج یہی بات ہے اب ایسا ہے کہ جس صاحب نے زیادہ ٹائم نہیں دیا پر میں سمجھتا ہوں کہ آج کے دن اتنا ہی کہنا کافی تھا اب یہ تو آپ لوگ آپ لوگ بھی اتنے دن سے میرے سے زیادہ فالو کر رہے ہو اس کیس کو یہ آپ لوگ طے کرو کہ ریلیونٹ ہے کہ نہیں ہے اگر ایک ایکیوز اس کیس کا اور وہ ایک پا... آپ کو یاد ہوگا چھ دن پہلے جب آرگیومنٹ کیا لرنڈ اے ایس جی نے انہوں نے کہا کہ اگر کمپنی کوئی پارٹی بھی اگر پولیٹیکل پارٹی بھی انوالوڈ ہوتی ہے تو وہ بھی کمپنی مانی جائے گی اور وہ بھی ایکیوز بن سکتی ہے تو اگر عام آدمی پارٹی ایکیوز بن سکتا ہے تو بی جے پی بھی ایکیوز بن سکتی ہے اگر بی جے پی کو اسی ایکیوز نے جس کی بیل ہوئی اس نے پچاس کروڑ دے رکھے ہیں تو وہ کس چیز میں آئیں گے یہ تو آپ لوگوں کو طے کرنا ہے میں تو جب کورٹ میں کیس آئے گا جب دیکھیں گے پر آپ کو خود معلوم ہونا چاہیے کہ وہ پیسے کس بات کے دیے تھے اس نے نہیں جج صاحب نے کہا کہ آج تو یہ ریلیونٹ نہیں ہے پولیس ریمانڈ کی بات ہے اور الٹیمیٹلی مسٹر کیجریوال نے کنسیڈ کیا کہ میں تو کوپریٹ کرنے کو تیار ہوں آپ جو چاہے میرے کو کسٹڈی میں رکھ سکتے ہیں مجھے کوئی اعتراض نہیں ہے پر ہم نے یہ کہا کہ یہ بات تو ٹھیک ہے کہ یہ والنٹری کہنے کو تیار ہے کہ کسٹڈی میں رکھیے پر جو گراؤنڈ انہوں نے لیے ہیں وہ ہم اپوز کر رہے ہیں ان گراؤنڈ پر ریمانڈ نہیں ہونا چاہیے ہم نے حالانکہ کنسیڈ کیا اس گراؤنڈ پر اب ریمانڈ دینا چاہو تو ای ڈی کو تو تکلیف ہوگی نا جب وہ کہتا ہے کہ پچاس کروڑ جس ایکیوز نے دیے ہیں وہ بھی آپ انویسٹیگیٹ کرو ایسے تو بڑی باتیں کہیں آج کے دن تو اتنے ریلیونٹ نہیں ہیں نہیں اب تو جب ہم نے کنسیڈ ہی کر دیا کیجریوال نے کنسیل کر دیا تو پولیس ریمانڈ تو کورٹ دے گا ہی اب وہ لکھا ہے انہوں نے نہیں یہ ایسا کچھ نہیں بتایا کہ چھ دن میں کیا کیا ہے ہاں وہ کہنے لگے کہ بھائی آپ جو بھی کہنا چاہتے ہو لکھ کے دو تو آج تو نہیں تھا اس کے پاس موقع Earlier on Wednesday, MLAs from both the ruling AP and the opposition Bharat Janata Party held protests on the Delhi Assembly premises, raising slogans against each other. While the PJP MLAs held a demonstration demanding the resignation of Chief Minister Kejwal, the Ahmadmi Party legislators and their supporters raised slogans against Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Both parties staged protests simultaneously as the PJP legislators took out a march carrying placards. The AAP leaders and workers dressed in yellow T-shirts started raising slogans against Modi while following the Saffron Party's MLAs. It should be mentioned here that the ED has arrested Kejwal on March 21st hours after the High Court refused to grant him protection from coercive action by the anti-money laundering probe agency. The case pertains to the alleged corruption and money laundering in formulating and executing the Delhi government's excise policy for 2021-22, to which was later scrapped. The case originated from a report presented by Delhi Chief Secretary Naresh Kumar to Lieutenant Governor Vinay Kumar Saxena in July 2022, highlighting purported procedural deficiencies in the development of the policy. The report said arbitrary and unilateral decisions taken by the AAP leader Manish Sisodia is his capacity as Excise Minister had resulted in financial losses to the Exchequer, estimated at more than Rs. 580 crores. That's all we have for now. Keep watching on Real TV. Good night. Cultural sustainability is an important issue that often gets overlooked. It refers to the idea of preserving and sustaining traditional cultures in the face of globalization and modernization. Sustainable tourism, alternatively, promises not only to support economic development in destinations, but also to facilitate cultural and environmental conservation in heritage sites around the world. Tourism has not always been the most sustainable endeavor. 
Some forms of tourism have even led to culturally and environmentally abusive and exploitative practices from polluting to poaching. The World Tourism Organization defines sustainable tourism as tourism that takes full account of its current and future economic, social and environmental impacts, addressing the needs of the visitors, the industry, the environment and host communities. Nagaland is also a hub of culture and nature, attracting tourists from everywhere to witness the land, nature, tourist sites and popularly known festivals like Hornbill Festival. With the age of globalization, tourism has become a way of cultural globalization and promoting green village culture. Our land is very naturally inhabited and so tourism is also growing quite spontaneously attracting travelers and tourists across the globe. And in order to efficiently promote our tourism, we have to learn ways to promote sustainable tourism to protect our cultural and environmental heritage. One of the most important ways that sustainable tourism practices support environmental and cultural preservation is through adherence to local, national and international laws. Honoring local laws and regulations can regulate what items can be brought into and taken out of a country in what quantities, by whom and through what means. These regulations have proven essential to protecting countries' precious resources from the deep pockets of foreign tourists or the nefarious practices of commodities, thieves and exotic animal poachers. Buying local. When you buy local, you help boost the local economy, benefit local benefits and help to reduce the destination's carbon footprint from transporting the goods. This is also true at 